Hello chess lovers, so I'm here with another interesting game for you. In 1991, Soviet chess grandmaster Eduard Gufet played a simultaneous match with clocks against a Malaysian team. In this video I would like to cover his game which he played against Malaysian ex-champion Cheng Hong Go. This game was played in Penang and now let's see what happened on the board. Gufeld started the game with e4 and knight f6 by go, Elakine defense e5, knight d5, d4, d6 and knight f3, white is choosing the modern variation and bishop g4, pinning the knight is the most common response to knight f3, bishop e2, c6, here e6 is the most popular move but in the game we see c6, white castles kingside, bishop takes f3, bishop takes f3, d takes e5, d takes e5, e6 and knight d2, white wants to bring his knight on c4 square from where the knight will target the d6 square and black proves to have no reliable counterplay, knight d7, rook e1, queen c7, knight c4 and b5, a move which is weakening black's position too much, well it was better to play knight b6 Although after queen d4, knight takes c4, queen takes c4, white has a slightly preferable position due to the bishop pair and a space advantage. But in our game after knight c4 we have b5 which allows Kufel to go for a brilliant combination. You can pause the video and try to find his next moves. Ready? Gufeld first captured on d5 and after c takes d5. Of course, e takes d5 is not a good idea because of this knight d6 check. If bishop takes d6, then e takes d6 check is coming and black is losing his queen. That's why after bishop takes d5, we see c takes d5. But anyways, here comes the knight, knight d6 check. But a question arises, what if bishop takes d6, which we see in the game, and after black's bishop takes d6 response, Gufeld made another fantastic move. This time he went for queen takes d5, look at this. This move looks fantastic and gives black no chance to survive. Rook c8, although e takes d5 could have been better. Now let's see what can happen after e takes d5. Then white can capture on d6 and can announce a discovery check. If king d8 then d takes c7 check. And after king takes c7 the rook can penetrate the 7 franc. If rook e8 then white can first give a check and also cover the e1 square after which can capture the pawn on f7. White has an extra pawn and has nice chances of winning the game. But in our game after queen takes d5 we see rook c8. Now comes e takes d6, queen c4, queen b7 and after queen c6 white won another pawn. Black castled kingside, of course it's not quite clear why not queen takes d6, although still white stands much better, but of course this is a preferable move. But in the game we have kingside castling, bishop f4, rook d8, rook d1 and after knight b6, c3, black resigned. Although he could still prolong the game and give a fight, but after c3 we have a resignation. I guess many of you will be dissatisfied that black resigned too early, but the reason that I decided to cover this game was that brilliant queen takes d5 move, after which white managed to gain a winning position. Thanks for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this game. For more games consider subscribing to my channel, I will see you in the next video.